Uh, hi there, welcome to TV One uh, booth here at Infocom 2023. My name's Mark Trevina, uh, and uh, I've got a busy throng here. I've been waiting for this presentation to start, and it's a, a real uh, pleasure. Before we get into the demo itself, I'll, I'll just give you a little bit of uh, a background about us and what we are and what we do. Um, so I'm part of a, a group of amazing companies. So TV One, Magenta, and Green Hippo. So TV One is the integrate part, anything, anything out, uh, big LED walls, projection, whatever you want to do. Uh, connecting is through uh, Magenta Research. And this whole booth is wired up with Magenta Research cables and distribution. And then finally, Green Hippo, which is uh, our media server. Um, I'm today talking about predominantly uh, higher education and corporate, um, but what I'm, what, this could apply to any space we're in. And you can see we do a whole bunch. So enough of the introduction waffle. Let's get on with it. Yeah. So um, we, we've had a pretty challenging couple of years, haven't we? Yeah. It's been uh, pretty hard. And then we come, we spend this time uh, on Teams with all our colleagues. And then suddenly we come back to the office or back to the higher education workspace and um, we struggle. But, and it's all about meeting equity. That's the, that's the problem is when you're remote, you don't feel part of it. Uh, so how do you bring people into, into your space? Yeah. So that's what this is about. These are some stats from a British survey to show how disengaged people have been post uh, pandemic. Um, and so we, we at TV One tried to come up with a novel idea. And I've worked with partners at Lumens and also at uh, Innergeny. Um, to, to bring together a solution. And this is about multiple cameras uh, and multiple displays in the room so you can see what's going on. So before I um, get going with this demo, I just want to explain what we've got here in, in, this, uh, in this session, yeah? So I, I've got my main uh, display wall here. So imagine I'm in a lecture theater, I'm in a corporate boardroom, this obviously would be much bigger. This might be a big LED wall off axis. Um, in front of me, I have my, my confidence monitoring. It should be here so I can see what's going on. And then I'd be going out to my buddies in, in Teams or Zoom or, or whatever it is. Yeah, so th that, that's what's going on. Um, if you look up behind me, that's, that's my camera. So I'm partnering with Lumens for this, uh, this, this show. So that's a USB camera. Um, it also does HDMI and IP as well. And what I'm doing is I'm connecting that USB to uh, an Innergeny unit. So this is uh, an Innergeny um, uh, converter that takes my USB and then converts into HDMI. And then I've got at the, at the other end to get into my Teams. I'm using a, a 4, 4K box, which enables me to uh, do that the uh, other end as well. So that's the tech. How about the demo? Yeah. So this is uh, how how it works. Yeah. So let's pretend we're um, I'm a professor and I'm about to about to start my lecture. So what happens first of all is uh, I'm I'm now about to start the presentation. You can see in the room and online we have the same content. Uh, so that is is what's uh, what's going on. Now I'm going to zoom the camera in a little bit. So now you can see the camera is now in a position that I want it to be in. Um, and so now I'm, I can present on, on a screen, but online they are still um, getting the, um, let's get this right a minute. So let's get to the right position. So in, in, uh, in outside the room, they're still getting the, the view that they uh, wanted. Sorry, this is... Uh, There we go. We're just going to have a look around the booth a minute to see how busy it is by the looks of it. So you can see uh, there's lots going on in, uh, in the hall we're in. That's, but what we'll do is we'll get this camera back in the right position in a second. I really love the uh, Lumens camera because it sort of gives us the ability to control the zoom. So imagine this, if this was uh, controlled via automation system, maybe something like uh, QSIS or Xtron or AMX. Uh, that would be really, really cool. Um, so let's, there we go. So you can see uh, I've got in-room, I have my holding screen, 
and online they've got a holding screen as well. So we're getting the same interaction. And now I'm going to go live, so I'm going to be the presenter talking. So I'm, I'm talking in the room with the corporate background behind me, and corporate branding is everything. But at home, they're actually seeing me against the, the corporate background. And I can interact with what's going on here. So perhaps I want to bring up a slide. This is coming from my computer. So uh, I have uh, the slide, and now I can talk through the different elements. So uh, in, in the room, um, it looks like an ordinary lecture, but at home, they're getting um, their own experience of me next to it. And obviously, that camera could be zoomed in uh, or out uh, a little. Yeah, so the other things I can do, and I'm just doing multiple outputs here. So, for example, now I've got two windows, and I'm pre I'm, what I'm doing is I'm previewing this window in the room. Or I've already cut to it uh, uh, online. And now what we're going to do is animate this one up full screen, and they, they've already got the experience. So this enables me to tell you a little bit more about what we're doing here. Yeah. So th this is the standard kind of meeting room or uh, higher education space, and we want to go further than the normal interaction. Yeah. So here at TV One, we've created some white papers and just pulled some ideas together. Let's go to the next level uh, hybrid for yeah. either meeting rooms, higher ed, or maybe for government as well. So this is our room. We've got loads of screens on the outside. These can all be powered by uh, TV One, Corio Master. Um, lots of sources going in, lots of cameras going in. Maybe there's even a visualizer plugged in if it was higher ed. Now, what we're doing is using what I was showed you a moment ago, they're seeing me against the wall, and I'm presenting against the wall at home, so it feels televisual. In regards to uh, UCs we cover, um, it really, the big secret is TV One isn't, um, doesn't support any we rely on our partners. So we're working with uh, Innergeny and Lumens, and they're both accredited by loads and loads of these uh, UCs. So it enables us together to recreate a best-in-class situation. So now what I want to do is I've now flicked, so they now seeing me interact at home. So this is my team's output at home, and they're seeing me interact with it, and I can talk about what's on, on the screen. But I can do other things as well. So Coriomaster, the whole Coriomaster family is capable of multiple multi-windowing, really low latency multi-windowing. So I've now got three windows in 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 the room, and I'm I'm showing the one I want to focus on at home. And I could switch different windows into there as I go along. But I know you wouldn't do what I'm about to do in in a normal environment. But just to show you the power of our video processing, um, I could have on on the biggest Coriomaster. Uh, the Corio Master 2, I could have up to 44K windows at once, and I can rotate them freely. I can add borders. I can rotate the outputs as well. So there's no limitations of just portrait uh, landscape. We can do uh, whatever you want uh, to do. So that's the story. It's, it's short but sweet. It's hopefully really, really obvious what we're doing. These are the different partners that we're working with. So TV1, anything in, anything out. Flex, really flexible connectivity. Seamless, elegant switching, independent outputs, and completely agnostic, whether it's LED, edge blend, or, or displays. Um, my buddies from Inner Jenny, uh, they're providing the high quality conversion between uh, USB and HDMI and back again, also giving me the UC accreditation. And then uh, Lumens are uh, the, for the camera solution. I'm, I'm using one of their um, more cost effective cameras here. Uh, and you can see the light isn't actually very good. There's not a lot of light on me here, but the quality is still really, really good. And um, we programmed up loads of uh, loads of presets on it. And if I can do this, anyone can do it. What I really like about this is, is there's not only the zoom, but also the amount of outputs we got out of it. So HDMI, 3 gig SDI, IP, uh, and USB. So and all of this we've tested in our R&D lab in the UK. We've tested all the elements, and that's why I feel confident to... Uh, bring it here. If you want to find out more today, um, download um, the white paper. So we've got a next level hybrid white paper. Uh, I'm really proud that I wrote this and it's been our most popular white paper ever. Um, the follow-up is is ready to be released and we've done one next level uh, for corporate. Um, that's waiting in the lines because we're still getting pickups on this every day. The interest has been phenomenal. So it's obviously a real problem um, that people are trying to solve. If you want to know more about the uh, 
the product, um, then there's a barcode for that as well. On, on the stand here, as well as Corymaster here, I have a wall here, which is showing uh, high, high density input and output. So on a half one RU uh, device, I've got eight inputs and four outputs, or vice versa. I could do four inputs and eight outputs. And on the back wall, uh, I'm showing 8K uh, video processing as well. But I um, hope you found that interesting. Um, we got lots more to see on the booth. We got lots more uh, live streaming coming up. If you like the hybrid discussion, this hybrid group piece, um, in about an hour and a half, we're going to go live again. And, and I'm going to be joined by uh, colleagues from Innergeny and Lumens. And it's not going to be so much a technical presentation as a discussion on where we see uh, hybrid collaboration going in future. But uh, appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Uh, keep watching the videos online. And if you do like these live streams, I'd really appreciate if you could like and subscribe to the channel because it just shows us um, that you like this sort of content. And when that means we can do even more. But for now, thanks for being with us at Invercom 2023. See you on the next session. Bye-bye.